People in Fort Gibson are voluntarily leaving their homes. That area of Muskogee County also hit hard for days now. Our Andres Gutierrez went there as people searched for higher ground. In Fort Gibson, there are the spots that are notorious for high water, but with this latest round of flooding, it's caught many by surprise. Today, the waters of the Neosho River unleashed its fury on this campground. Downstream in Fort Gibson. This is unprecedented. Jerry Jackson first needed to see it to believe it. Up until this morning, we didn't think it was going to get into our house. But once floodwater seeped into his wife's downstairs quilt room, Jackson's relatives, friends, and church members voted in to help. It's just been amazing to the turnout, and it's that way all over town. Meanwhile, down the road, the current's picking up. Paul Walters feels defeated in the midst of the rising waters. The anger hits because there's nothing you can do. You get angry because you can't do anything but sit and watch the water rise on up onto the houses. And because this area is not considered a floodplain, neither Jackson nor Walters have flood insurance, an additional hurdle that each one will face once the cleanup begins. It's sad in a way, but you know, it's God's will. We do what we have to do. It's not the end of the world. We'll buy another house, uh, you know, or we can do what we need to do. In Fort Gibson, Andres Gutierrez, two works for you.